Welcome to Beer Corner USA's Beers of the Week Extreme Beer Fest Edition. I'm Chris Patini. Patrick Wolf. And uh, it's here. It's here. It's time. You've done it. It's your first festival as yeah. the manager of Beertopia. Yeah. How was this for you? Uh, extreme. Extreme. <laughs> no other word than extreme, right? Yeah. I mean, here you are, the guy from Montana via California, putting on a festival for 2,000 people with 300 beers. It can't get more craft beer than this, can it? It feels pretty good. It feels know. pretty good. This guy is awesome. Hey, uh, what are you excited for today? Uh, well, even though I've already drank a little bit of it, I'm excited for Toppling Goliath. Go back to their booth a few times. Uh, excited for some of the VIP sessions, the tall grass one with the dry hopped Penna Ethos. Sounds really good. You should try the coffee beer they right got. Now. Really? Oh, man. Oh, I didn't know that. I hear they got a coffee beer in there with some Imperial Stout. It's right up my alley. Right up my alley. I'll tell you what. Um, Patrick's got to do some things. I got to go check some of these breweries. We're going to let you guys see what's going on. And then, uh, like I say, every year, if you don't have a ticket for this, there's a reason why I say you suck. It's because they're sold out. 2,000 people right now are coming in here between now and 7 o'clock to try a lot of great beers. And, right, if they don't have a ticket, they suck. You missed out. You missed Big out. Big time. You are not a true craft beer drinker if you don't have an Extreme Beer Fest ticket. That's what I think. No, not really, but <laughs> it just means I want you to come next year, right? Yes, please come next year. Have Buy you, the tickets, hang out with us. If you haven't been to this event, you, you really need to come check it out. It's, it's huge. It's awesome. You got good people, good beer. What more do you need? Breweries that are not available in the state. Beers that you can't get except here. Um, there's a reason why this is the eighth annual Extreme Beer Fest that Beertopia puts on, and every year it gets better. Every year, everyone works hard to put it on. All our volunteers, everybody who does it, it's kick ass. So, uh, what do you say we go drink some beer? Yeah. Cheers. All right, we had to check out brand new to Omaha, Script Town Brewing Company, and my friend, John Farr. Chris, John? thanks for having me. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so glad that you've gone from being one of, not the, but the best home brewer in the United States in 1996 to having a brewery right here on Farnham Street. So, John, I want to try some beer. What do you got for me today? This is our uh, Belgian Curve uh, Grand Cru. It's a Belgian Golden that is uh, spiced uh, with some coriander, some bitter and sweet orange peel, and fermented with a Belgian, uh, actually a Belgian wit yeast. And it's a uh, 7.4% alcohol. Man, you do make good beer. <laughs> We this try. is really nice, uh, crisp, clean. The, the, the orange peel comes through, but it's not overpowering. Right. The spice is there. You, you, you think like maybe you've uh, been to Belgium or something on this one. I mean, well, the hallmark of a good Belgian beer, if you spice it, is to use just enough to make the person think that there's something in there, but they really can't pick it out too much. You know, so. That is good. Yeah. Glad uh, you like it. Is this going to be something that'll be a regular beer for Script Town, or you is know, this going to be a seasonal? Or? We're, gonna, we're figuring that out. You know, we like the beauty of coming to an event like this is you can see what people really like, and and that'll give us an opportunity to gauge what uh, you know from the people's comments about it. Uh, we'll certainly brew it at least seasonally, but you know we'll see where it goes. That is really good. All right, I'm going to try one more. Okay. This is a our uh, we're kind of calling this Belgian Rouge. It's a Belgian style red IPA. And it's hopped entirely with European hops, Strissel Belgian Small. Belgian Red IPA. Yeah, Belgian Red IPA. We wanted to throw something here that I thought was ex extreme. Wow. Yeah. And but it's that's got a nice sweetness to it. Yep. It's it basically it's a, it's a Belgian red underneath with a lot of uh, special B and crystal malt to give it that red hue and a little bit of backbone to it. Uh, but but you, you got a, a really nice dose of late hopping in there to yeah. give it a nice dry dry bitterness to it. So if you didn't make it to extreme, like I always say, you suck. But make sure to watch for uh, Script Town when they open. You have any estimated ETA for you guys? We're telling people 2014, Chris, but I think it'll be sometime this summer. Awesome. Yeah. You heard it there, John. Congratulations. Thanks, Chris. Welcome Thank to you, the sir. neighborhood. Thanks. Chris. <laughs> Man, it's a whole day of new breweries. Uh, I had to come over here and stop to talk to the guys from Free State who are... When, you guys are like not even officially in the market yet, right? Not yet. When's the beer rolling out? Uh, it should be... Uh, could be a question for this guy <laughs> behind us, but... Uh, <laughs> Probably in a month or so. About a month. Yeah. Awesome. So you come to Extreme, you get to try this stuff before it's out. Talking about trying it, I want to try a beer. What do you got for me today? Well, we've got four beers. Uh, we've got two uh, two beers that were barrel aged in Templeton rye barrels. 
um, one that was aged in wine, wine barrels, and then one that's a Berliner Weiss that we did for William S. Burroughs' 100th, what would have been his 100th birthday. All right, let's start with a little of that Berliner Weiss then. Okay. So Let me this try a little of that. This was actually infused with hibiscus flowers. Look at that pink color. Yeah. Kick ass. So, did 25 pounds of hibiscus wow. flowers at the end of the boil, and it gives it that amazing fuchsia color and pink head. Nice tartness. I've always been a fan. Um, a few years ago, probably about five, six years ago, Bill did a bus trip. We came down to the brewery, um, went to Kansas City, and then came right. over. That was my first experience with your beer, and ever since, I've got some regulars that come in on Saturday. Hey, Mike. Hey, Jolie. Look who's here. Um, <laughs> They, their kids live down in Lawrence, and they bring me six packs all the time from you guys. Awesome. So I get my little bootleg. Yeah. Now I don't have to bootleg you're it not anymore. Have to do that, but no, you're gonna, but you, you will have to come back for some of the specialty beers and the food. Uh, oh my gosh, the yeah. food in the tap room is just—you guys are awesome. So let me introduce to these guys. I'm Jeff. I'm the head brewer at the downtown head brewery. Head brewer. And this is Tommy, my assistant down there. Very cool. Steve rolled. The tall he's guy one, in back. He's, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's one, not on a chair. He's one of the brewers at our production facility, as is Luke. Uh, and then this is Seth Sanchez, one of our sales team. You guys yeah. brought the whole crew yeah, with you. Yeah, might as well, you yeah. know. This is awesome. We uh, love Omaha. Yeah, Omaha's yeah. fun. It's a, and we like your beer here. I mean, Free State is not uh, a stranger to us in Omaha. It's a lot of KU fans who've gone, you know, kid, people have gone down to school down there. They know you. Um, yeah, it's... I like on the back of your shirt is, you know, without beer, life just doesn't go so well, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's true. It's absolutely yeah. true. So we're excited to be in Omaha. This is good beer, guys. You can't wait for them. I'm going to try I, one I of those wait, I can't wait to go party in Benson and have our beer on draft yeah, exactly. up there. And then and then come down to the moon. And when you're in Benson, maybe you have to do a collaboration with those guys. They, they, up in a fusion, that would be a good one, Oh, too. that would be very cool. How much are you your Templeton? Yeah. Okay. So this is a Belgian quad that we... Uh, Asian Templeton barrels. Oh, I get all that, that quad yeast, that, that wonderful that Belgian spicy smell. character. But you don't get a lot of the, the, the bourbon on the top. Some of the other beers, too. Oh, man. I, I've, uh, I've been to Belgium a few times, and one of my favorite quads is La Trap. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And even though that's the Netherlands, yeah, yeah. this has the very authentic, that, like, La Trap, that monastic style. Oh, really good. I'll try one more. What you got for me next? Um, this is our, uh, oh, maybe two more. Well, yeah, you might as well try them all. Right? Yeah, so this is Eccentricity. This is the beer that was aged in wine barrels. It started out what kind as of a wine? Belgian. Uh, couldn't tell you. Okay, we're couldn't beer tell. guys. Who cares yeah, about yeah, the wine? Yeah. It's just a wine uh, barrel. Well, right? it actually spent six years in, in the wine barrel. And then two years in stainless and another year in the bottle. Six yeah. years? Yeah, so this is about an this is as eight or nine year old beer. How, how, what's the ABV on this? It's up there. It's like 10. You can't taste the 10 at all. Oh, that's why it's Extreme Beer Fest. You guys just make such good beer. Thanks, man. Oh. I, I still have some of last year's Bach that I'm holding on to because I didn't know when I was getting more. I'm uh, so glad I'll get some this year. Yeah. What's the last one you got for me? Last one is Oat Max. It's uh, our Imperial Stout aged in Templeton Rye Barrels. When so you it's roll a, out, it's actually more like a double imperial stout. I mean, it's so big. It when, starts when out at 26 degree Play Doh, so it's very big. Are you kidding? Yeah. What's the ABV on this? It's 12.3. Good thing I'm just getting started today. <laughs> How do you hide the alcohol? I, they, they're magicians, they hide the alcohol. Well, this, this has been aging for a while, so. Guys, is out. I can't wait to see you online. Can't wait to get you hey, on the really stores. Nice to you, awesome, awesome. And we'll make sure to share this on your Facebook page. Fantastic. Welcome to Nebraska. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Cheers. guys. Again, another new brewery at Extreme Beer Fest. Welcome. I can't believe Thank you're you. actually on this side of the of the, of the country time. now, but we're glad to see you back, Paul. What it's do you got time. for me today? This is Green Monster. This is a Green beer that's Monster. not even on the list at Extreme Beer Fest. Um, this is a special case that I can't believe that the brewery even sent me. Really? But, uh, yeah, sour, barrel aged sour that was a complete accident at the brewery and uh, is, doesn't exist it, anywhere. So. Anytime you're coming around trying to shoot beers, you're going to see Paul around our market. He's uh, no stranger for beer. And uh, I'm going to. Uh, ooh. Yeah, funky. 
barrel aged funkiness. Uh, That's Extreme Beer Fest. I already stashed a bottle away for myself to see go. <laughs> oh, wow. What's the ABV on that? Uh, 11. All right, I'm going to get so drunk today because all these beers, I can't taste the alcohol. Yeah. Everybody's got them today with hidden booze. So that one you can only get if you have a Deschutes shirt on. A and Deschutes you, shirt. And you know, and you know the password. It's the only way you can get that beer, except for you. Cause, well, that's because we're cool. Cause so cool uh, like what's that. the password? I can't tell you. Ah, damn. I tried the beer anyway. I'm just kidding. No, man. Uh, what else are you guys doing so today? Got, um, Inversion IPA, right? Year awesome. round IPA, uh, red, chair. red chairs in Northwest Pale Ale. Porn, uh, this is uh, Imperial Smoke Porter. Are you, uh, what are you doing as a special release this today? These two are pouring the whole time, so I'll pour well as long as it last. Right. So Black Beat 25, which is our anniversary porter from last year. Uh, this is Imperial Smoke Porter, it's a collaboration with Great Lakes. You got a little of a 25 open that I can try a little of? I see it in the pro earlier. Now, Black Butte, this is your yearly anniversary beer. Right? Uh, yeah, it marks the anniversary of the brewery. So every July, or every June, sorry. You bring it out. out. So this year will be Black Beat 26. And is it always a, a big stout? Uh, no, porter. A big porter? porter. Yep, yep. And just the imperial porter we bring out every year. Egypt specially or anything? It's just a just secret a, recipe a, once a year. Big, yeah, once a year porter that uh, we're releasing the brewery just to mark the, the anniversary of. I've had nothing but amazing beer today at Extreme Beer Fest. Yeah. Uh oh, what do you got, Paul? So what do you recommend? He's doing something. He's well, then I've got two years of the abyss, which is our barrel barrel aged. Yeah, I made, made the camera when you, when you, move. Yeah, <laughs> right. When are you popping those? Uh, the 2011 is at two. 2011 is at 2:30. So this is another uh, reason then, why you come to Extreme Beer Fest, so that you can do special releases with rare beers and everything. So yep. there you go. 2013 is at four o'clock. So that's why you do it. One for the VIP. One for. Paul, again, I'm so Matt. glad to have you back on the pouring beers for us. Happy to be here. Uh, and with such great beers. Yeah, tasty stuff, man. Deschutes, yeah. cheers. Right on. It wouldn't be an extreme beer fest if we didn't talk to Tallgrass or any beer fest for Crescent Moon at that matter. Jake, how you been? It's been great, man. Uh, so, Hood hooked us up again? He hooked us up. What are, what are we trying today? So this is a Russian Imperial coffee chocolate stout that we use uh, coffee from a local roastery. Uh, we dry, we basically dry hopped it, let it sit for about a week. So it did its nice little cold brew coffee. It's got a shit ton of caffeine in it. It's great. <laughs> With our ABV. Oh, ten, whoa. Ten, ten and a half percent. I'm, I'm, I'm at a coffee house. I'm not even at a beer place right now. <laughs> Hood, you should be here serving this beer. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Be looking oh for this gosh. in 2015. Really? You heard it here first. <laughs> Special new beer. You guys debut a lot of stuff at Omaha at our festivals. We like I to mean, do it here. You, I, if I'm not mistaken, Ethos last year was a debut, and it Ethos wasn't called was. Ethos. Yeah. And now we got this one coming a year later. So it was uh, Wild Plum, I think, too. Yeah, that was at our Sunfest. Yep. See, you got to come hang out at the festivals and always check out the guys from Tallgrass because... Because. <laughs> because. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, check it out. I found Patrick. Are you done setting up? No, I still have a little bit of setting up to do. I'll be back. Oh, wait, no, no, get back here. Get back here. Uh, I knew I'd find him at Toppling Goliath. Put it that way. I just knew where I'd find him. Murph, what are we drinking today? Solstice, double IPA, features mosaic hop all the way through. It's delicious. You can drink it on this already, yeah, haven't we, you? Yeah, he's, he's been treating us pretty nice over here, pulling out some bottles. See, so. I knew we'd find Patrick hiding out. Uh, really cool thing about Top Lane Goliath, in Draft Magazine this year, they were listed as the small brewery to watch, and they've been here at Extreme the last two years. Yeah, we know who to watch already, right? Yeah. Cheers, cheers on that, guys. Hey, cheers, cheers to you guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, look at that mosaic. I love that smell. It's pretty awesome. It's fantastic. What's the ABV? Uh, round nine. Around nine. Give right or take. Give or take. <laughs> so, uh, everyone wants to know, Top Lane Goliath is going to try and put these bottles up Utopia one of these days? We are. We are. Uh, we're in the process of expansion right now. Uh, we're working on a new 30-barrel brew house, which we're just starting to get into production. And uh, once we grow and can find a good way to get out this way, 
you'll be seeing us here. So more than just the festivals. More than just the festivals. That's until the ultimate then, plan. Until then, we'll take the festivals. But uh, cool, man. <laughs> we want to see this on Beertopia's shelf, right? <laughs> I'm gonna stay out with Patrick and drink some more beer now. <laughs> Cheers. Our new neighbors. Right. right? Yeah. We had to come talk to Farnham House Brewing Company. These guys are right next to Crescent Moon and Beertopia. Who, who better to, to try beer from than with Tony and... Where are you hiding that, Phil? <laughs> Darth, Darth Phil over here. Uh, what, what do you got? What do you want us to try today? Give us a beer. One of our standards is the uh, Saison IPA. It's a uh, Farnham House IPA that we'll have on tap. Whole this time. sounds awesome. Yep. Let us try a little of that. So... Uh, we're now Farnham House Brewing Company, right next to Crescent Moon. I'm, I'm glad you guys got a name going. Everything's ready to roll. Uh, do you have any ETA for these guys of when we might see you open? Right now, right now we're looking for uh, early April. Early April. Yeah. Early April. Awesome beers. Oh, wow. Wow, the aroma. What hops are in this? Um, let's see. It's Chinook, um, Warrior, Crystal, Glacier. More Chinook, dry hop, crystal. Yeah. Wow. Like Good that. variety. Very Belgian. Big wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna not lie. Phil and I, we've you know we've been to Belgium together. I'm gonna ask. Did you get any inspiration off that uh, that that dry hop saison Dupont for this? Um. <laughs> so yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. 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 you know what? This reminds me of a really good hoppy farmhouse ale that we had when we were in Belgium. We initially didn't. We initially didn't start. Um, didn't do uh, dry hopping with the Bel with the Belgian beers. But I tried it once, and it the, the way it worked, the the way the hop the aroma the yeast. goes with that that Belgian yeast uh, character. I really it, like the way that. It's works. actually very refreshing at the same time. So you get a very good Belgian with the, all of that going. Uh, man, I can't wait to have a new neighbor. Patrick, you ready for this? This is gonna be awesome. Gonna run next door to grab a People beer. People keep asking us, is this weird? It's like, no, this is extended family. Right here. Tony and Phil and Beertopia and the Crescent Moon and it's the Farnham Street Beer District right here. Oh yeah. Cheers guys. Cheers. Um yeah. May the force be with you? May the brews be with you. Uh check out our favorite homebrew club, the SOBs. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. What Very can you cool. say, right? Uh, Very cool. We want some beer. Can we try something awesome, Daryl? Can I try something also? <laughs> if you don't know Give the SOBs, uh, you guys Give are in a whole nother universe. Oh, okay. uh, Thank you. Check this out. These guys every year bring it, and they bring it hard. So what did you pour us here, Daryl? This is uh, Stormtrooper Stout. Stormtrooper Stout. Stormtrooper Stout. We have it on nitro, nitro, so bring and it up. You're getting it on nitro as well. Uh, Beer 2 D2 today will be serving you drinks, and the entire cast of Beer Wars is, is here today. Uh, <laughs> this is the craziest thing. So who all brewed a beer? See that? They all brewed beer. Wow. <laughs> Bettini! I swear that's what they say. Bettini! Um, this is why you come to Extreme Beer Fest. I'm like at a loss for words, and if you know me, that's a really weird thing to happen. I'm... <laughs> come to Extreme Beer Fest, this is why you come here. Cheers. 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 May the beers be with you. Yeah. <laughs> Again, another new brewery. Uh, check out these guys. They're in from Brick Street Brewing Company. Brand new brewery in Iowa and brand new for us at Extreme Beer Fest. Justin, what do you got for us to try? I got an apple wheat and a coconut porter. I think I want to try some coconut, coconut porter. Yeah, yeah. Coconut good. porter. So, brand new brewery. What can you guys tell us about yourselves? We're a one barrel brewery. A one? One barrel brewery. Gotta start Small somewhere. What's that? Small but mighty. Small but mighty. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Make the beer and make it right, right? You're right. Smell that? It smells like coffee. I feel like I'm in Hawaii. Caramel and butterscotch. Exactly. Wow. The nice thing about one barrel is you keep it still. Hold, how much coconut flavor. did you put in there? It's a pound and a half in each. I use two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds of coconut in one barrel of beer. 
This is That's, phenomenal. This is very good. Wow. I usually don't like coconut porters. Um, I've had one from Kona that I didn't really care for, but this is solid. I really, I enjoy this. So, uh, are you guys just doing at the brew pub? Do you, do you distribute anywhere in Iowa? We don't have the room because we're running out of beer. <laughs> so you can come to Extreme Beer Fest and try a beer that you can't try anywhere else but at their brew pub in Iowa and here. That's why you come to Extreme Beer Fest. How did you guys end up deciding to come here? Did you hear about the festival just said we had to be there? Yeah. Well, I've been working with Aaron and Max a lot. They've been helping us out too. Ah, cool. so these are an, an infusion friend. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Kick ass. Yeah. Thanks for sharing your beers with us. This is... A, we have a glass, but cheers for us. Cheers. You got one? Yeah. Yeah. Empty one. There you go. There you go. Oh, Thanks, guys. To Brick Street. Cheers. We are here with Doug Odell, founder of Odell's Brewing Company, and this is one of the reasons you come to Extreme Beer Fest. Last night, Patrick and I had the honor of joining Doug with the Extreme Beer Fest craft beer dinner, and must I say, your beers are fantastic, Doug. Uh, Thank you. What, what about a festival like Extreme Beer Fest is fun for you guys from Fort Collins? Well, it's um, not Fort Collins. That makes it interesting. <laughs> and I uh, like coming to our markets uh, that uh, we're not you know, in all the time and, and seeing um, you know, what the beer scene is and, and what kind of folks are enjoying our beer. And, and this is a perfect example to see just uh, the level of excitement in Omaha. What do you think about the Omaha market? Uh, it looks pretty good to me. I mean, it's been a number of years since I've been here, and it is significantly different, I can tell it's you. It's grown a lot? It has. A lot more places to get craft beer, a lot more uh, local breweries, and, and um, you know, kind of uh, regional breweries around Omaha. I mean, it's great to see. Very cool. I think we need to try some beer, Doug. I'm a fan of the tree shaker. Can I have a little of that, please? Yes, you may. You gonna do some tree shaker, or are you gonna do a little Lugene? Uh, you know, I might try some of that Lugene if I could. Sure. It's been about a year since I've had it. Tree so. shakers are um, our uh, peach uh, double IPA. Um, use about three quarters of a pound of uh, Western Colorado peaches in every gallon of beer. So. Uh, it's wow. Some, uh, it's got some peach character to it. Certainly but a peach load in it. It's it's a lot of flavor in this beer. And then as far as the routine goes. Uh, and after the guy who's been uh, picking up our spent grain for over 15 years. I actually heard grain. that story from Bettini, actually. Yeah, he's a dairy farmer uh, and uh, does raw milk. Uh, uh, raw milk dairy. And it's great stuff. And so the has been a real friend of the brewery for all these years, so he decided to name a beer after him. It's a, uh, when we took our beer trip out there in, uh, last January, we saw Lugene's tractor filling up with grain, spent grain. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah, so it's a, it's a um, milk chocolate. And dark chocolate milk stout, meaning it's got um, uh, lactose sugar in it as well. So it kind of gives it a, a real good smoothness and a nice uh, balance between the coffee and the roasted milk. So Excellent. Give it a try. Give it a, a shot. Absolutely. And this is not Cheers. in the... Uh, Cheers. I don't believe it's... Here in Omaha yet, but it could nope. be as early as next week. It's coming soon, right? Yes. We've had a ton of people asking about it. These the beers, the man himself, the myth, the legend, Doug Odell on Beer Corner USA's Beers of the Week. Thank you, Doug. Cheers. Thanks for coming to the festival. One minute. We oh. have a great time today. Thank you again. To all you guys, you missed it. If you don't have that VIP ticket, it was your fault. You, they're coming in an hour early, and the rest of us. You gotta wait for another hour, but we're gonna have fun. So cheers, 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 and cheers. Extreme beer fest. It's pretty extreme, Chris. <laughs> we tried some great beers. We have. Um, there's some great breweries here. We've put in a lot of hard work. But I, I don't know, what do you think? Is it worth it? Definitely. Always. This is why I love my job. I don't know about you, but this is why I love my job. It's not a tough life, is it? No, no you know, we are lucky enough to say that we work on Beer Corner USA. We're lucky enough to be able to bring you guys videos of beers. We're lucky enough to try these beers. Um, and if you don't have a ticket, you suck. <laughs> no, seriously. It's true. You're missing out. You're really you're missing, missing out. out. We would love to have you guys next year. Make sure when, when we announce it, go see Patrick at Beertopia and buy tickets. Come over and see me at the Crescent Moon and buy tickets. Um, go online and buy tickets, but whatever it is, just come here and 
Patrick and I are out of beer. So I think it's time for us to leave you guys, and uh, we're going to get some more beer. Let's get some beer. Let's check it out. Our